Hey guys, what's up? Scottish Duck here once again, and uh, it's time for a stupid vlog thing, yeah. Nothing too relevant in this, well, it's kind of relevant, it's just stuff that I uh, want to talk to you guys about, so basically, yeah. I'll probably put some little hints as to what we're going to be discussing in the title, but regardless, let's get into it. Um, first things first, uh, let's play on my other channel, right? I will be recording something new this week, right? I don't know if it'll be up by this week, but I will definitely start recording. I was actually going to do it today, but some shit came up and I actually got to go to work in a little bit. And uh, I couldn't really get on with it, you know? But uh, I do have a game that I want to let's play. Uh, I picked it this morning and uh, I hope you all like it. So, yeah. I kind of enjoyed my little break there, you know? It's just... I don't know, I kind of just wanted to play some games by myself. And uh, not have to worry about... Um, recording and stuff, which is weird, because I usually take that attitude when I'm at uni, but now I'm at the summer holidays. You wouldn't fucking believe it, given the weather, but it is the summer holidays, and uh, that's usually a good time for recording, but it's not really. I did the fact that I've now got a gaming PC, I should be... I'm still thinking of doing some uh, PC Let's Plays, but this next one won't be a PC Let's Play. It's uh, going to be a 360 game, that's uh, all I'll say. And, uh... As for Phoenix Wright, I told, I know I said I would do like Phoenix Wright cases in between uh, Let's Plays. I'll just do this game, then I'll go right back to Phoenix Wright. So yeah, just in case for the two of you out there that are missing that Let's Play. Uh, right. Okay. But yeah, while we're on the subject of uh, uni, I'm, uh, I go back sometime at the end of December, which is you know about a month and a half away. Uh, it's getting to that point where it's summer was fun and all, but yeah, it's good to get back to uni. You know, that's kind of the vibe I'm getting right now. So I can't wait to go back. Like, uh, it's going to be my final year, and I really, really, really want to do good. You know, in the hopes of uh, getting myself a nice little job uh, upon graduation. Uh, yeah, it's been I've been thinking about that a lot recently uh, in my future and shit. And yeah, hopefully it all goes down well. Um, Speaking of which, I'm uh, gonna be. Uh, I'm actually going to be at the open day for uh, my university. This is just a long shot, but if if I have any uh, Scottish uh, followers out there from Glasgow that are thinking of attending a Glasgow Caledonian University, then uh, come to the open day. You know, I'll uh, put the details maybe here or in the description or something. Uh, and you know, if I see you walking around, I'll say hi. You know, so yeah. I'm actually going to be showing a friend around, uh, he's a star in Caledonian this year, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to get back as well. Um, also, uh, this is kind of the uh, less, least relevant to you guys, but kind of big deal to me. Uh, for my last year at university, I'm actually going to be quitting my job. For those of you that don't know, I don't think... Uh, well, I have a video of me doing my job on this channel, but regardless, uh, I work in a just a little corner shop which is very very close by to where I live and uh, I've worked there for about five years ever since I was 17 I am now 22 uh, suffice to say the job is not necessarily fitting for a 22 year old but for a 22 year old who is also attending a uh, higher education it's pretty pretty suitable you know especially considering how close it is to my house um, but thing is, I just really, really, really want to concentrate on uni this year, you know? The thing about my job is that I always work in the evenings, in between the hours of 5 and 8 o'clock. And that was always a big inconvenience, because when I went to university in the morning, you know, I got there at 9 o'clock, sometimes I wouldn't finish to about uh, 4 o'clock, you know? And it takes an hour and a half by bus to get back to my town, you know? And, uh... I was always usually late for work anyway, but even then I would have to, you know, just drop whatever I was doing and go right to work, right after uni. And it was always so exhausting, and I can't count the number of times I said to myself, I was then uni at university, and I'm like, I could finish this at home tonight after my work. And then I came in from work, and I'm like, too tired, I'm just gonna go to bed. And yeah, it was always hanging over me and shit. So yeah, I really... The only thing this is gonna mean for me, quitting my job, I'm gonna have... I'm going to be able to support myself uh, with a student loan and all that that I've applied for. Uh, but what this means to me is I won't be buying as many games. I'll endure it. I'll endure it. Uh, you know, education comes first and that. So I guess in turn that what that will mean to you guys is that I won't be doing as many collection updates. 
Or that could be a big lie, maybe not a thing will change. Uh, speaking of which, I've got a little uh, list here. Just so there's something interested in this video, I've uh, just got a bit of a list here of, um, of upcoming games. I've got a list of definites and a list of maybes, you know, uh, for this year. Uh, so yeah, first of all, my list of definites. Uh, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I've been in a big Zelda fix lately, as I have said in like every video I have done recently. I was just playing A Link to the Past there. I can't wait for this fucking game. It's gonna be incredible. Uh, I've just been I've been watching a lot of gameplay, and it's just uh, want want want. You know, I, I'm like I think the sword play looks amazing. I think the art style is amazing. I I just think it's gonna be great. You know, as a shit of a as shit as the year has been for the Wii. I think that'll make up for it. At least it will for me. You know, it's just it just looks so great. All right. Uh, another definite is Sonic Generations. Uh, I'm a big Sonic fan, which would be uh, fairly obvious, you know. And uh, I'm really looking forward to this game. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'll be picking it up on both PS3 and uh, 3DS because you know I hear the experiences are going to be uh, really different. Uh, so, yeah, I will be. Uh, next one is, uh, this is, I can't believe I'm making this a definite because it really should be a maybe, but I feel like I'm obligated to buy it. Shinobi on 3DS. Now, I'm quite a big Shinobi fan. Uh, I really like the Mega Drive games, and uh, I'm actually a big fan of the uh, PS2 game as well. And this game has not been made by Sega, and it looks like a, you know, regular DS game. It doesn't look impressive at all, but I don't know, I just feel somewhat... I just feel somewhat obligated to try it out, so I will. I mean, we'll see, I suppose. The next one, definite, is a Ratchet and Clank All for One. Yes, I am now looking forward to this game. Will I let's play it? We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, but yeah, uh, Ratchet and Clank All for One is a definite one. Uh, another one is the Team Ico Collection. Definitely one of my more, like, big anticipated ones. I don't know what it is, but there was a time where I was more excited for this game than I was about the friggin' Last Guardian, you know, which got delayed to 2012. I just want this HD collection, you know, I want to see Shadow of the Colossus running at 60 frames per second, I want to see it upscaled, I just want to, I want it to have trophy support, I just, I'm just drooling over this fucking collection right now. I want it now, seriously. Uh, the other one is another definite, Xenoblade Chronicles. Now, I know for you guys in America, you're probably a bit jealous or pissed off about this. I feel your pain, I truly do, but I'll definitely be picking this up. That actually comes out in, um, nine days right now. That'll be the first one I pick up. Uh, I can't wait. That looks amazing, you know. And I hope you guys get it as well. Uh, next one is, um, Nintendo talked about five 3DS games at the re free press conference, and I'm not 100% sure of the, uh the dates for them, but the ones that I definitely want are Mario 3D, you know, the um, 3D platformer one, and Kid Icarus Uprising, you know, those are the two ones I really want, so I'll be keeping an eye out for them. This one is apparently coming out in Japan at the end of the year, and it's not even been announced for localization yet, but I can't see them not doing it, okay, it's surely gonna happen, if not this year, then in 2012, but I'll say it anyway, because I'm mega excited for it, Fantasy Star Online 2. That's pretty much a given, you all know I'm a massive Fancy Star fan, and it was partially the reason I got this fucking PC, so I just want it, I want it! Right, um, next one is a Child of Eden on PS3. I haven't actually told you guys yet, but if you've watched my collection updates, I bought Child of Eden on a 360, but uh, because 360 is so shit, I got rid of it. Uh, I actually traded it in and got more credit back for it than I paid for it. It's quite a good deal. Right. Uh, before you all call me a used sales poor and all that, you know, I'm a, I am going to be rebuying it on PS3 uh, without a doubt. You know, I, I love the game; it's amazing. I'm dying to play it again, like even though I've already beaten it, but it'll be good to have it on PS3. And um, the last uh, couple games are uh, both of the uh, Professor Layton games. Uh, Spec Specters Flute, I believe it's called, on the DS and. Mask of Miracles on the 3DS. Apparently those are both coming out at the end of this year. Um, and I'll be picking up both of them because I have become a 
quite a big Professor Light fan, so yeah. Okay, that's all my definites. How long's this video fucking been? Oh god. Alright, I'm not talking about anything else relevant in this video, just the list of games that I'm maybe gonna be getting. Right, these are games that are not definite. I'll only be picking them up if I happen to have some spare cash, so yeah. First one that will probably piss you all off, Uncharted 3. Yeah, I know, I, I am a big Uncharted fan, but I gotta make cuts, I'm sorry. Uh, and the one below that is actually Elder, Sc Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, which might even piss more of you off. You know what's funny? Uh, Uncharted 3 and Elder Scrolls V come out on the exact same day, and you know what else comes out on that day? Shinobi for 3DS. And which one am I gonna buy? Yeah, I'm an idiot. Okay, and the other one with that is uh, Gears of War 3. I am a Gears fan. I do enjoy the Gears games a lot, but I can love without them, you know? And uh, so it's a definite maybe for that one. Um, and of course, those uh, other three games that Nintendo announced at E3, which was uh, Mario Kart 3D, Luigi's Mansion 2, and uh, Star Fox 3D. Uh, might or might not get those, I don't know. Uh, I'm not too over the moon for them. Uh, Dark Souls. Now, I enjoy Demon Souls a lot. I haven't beaten it, got about halfway through. It's hard as fuck. But, yeah, the Dark Souls, I would be picking that up because I am a big fan of the original. And, but it's just not going to be a day one purchase, I'm afraid, so, yeah. Uh, Catherine. Now, this has been quite a talked about game lately. And uh, it's been out in America for a couple weeks now. Uh, and it actually sold really well, which I'm really pleased about, you know. Um, it's good that a sort of a niche game like that is, um, you know, selling well, of course. And, you know, there's it's, there's nothing really to do with the fact of the box art and uh, the sort of uh, themes of the game and stuff, but... At least it's doing well, at least it's doing well. And uh, it was confirmed for a European release by a different publisher. Uh, I don't know when it's coming out. Maybe at the end of this year, might not. Uh, but it won't be a day one purchase for me, so, yeah. Next is uh, Mario and Sonic at the 2012 Olympics in London and shit, yeah. I will be buying this solely on the fact that if it gets good reviews, okay, if it turns out to be as good as the other two. Because I actually quite like those games. I've only played the first, but I think it's okay, and I wouldn't mind supporting it for that cause. Either way, it's going to sell like crazy, so, yeah. As long as it's a good game, I'll buy it. Alright, um, Resistance 3. I'm a sort of meh Resistance fan. Yeah, the games are okay, but I can live without Resistance 3, you know, so, yeah. Uh, that new Kirby game for the Wii, I think it was big given a proper name, but I can't quite remember what that was, but it's looking really good, but again, a maybe, a maybe. And uh, this last one, this was solely for the purposes of uh, supporting Sega. Uh, Rise of Nightmares for 360, which is a Kinect specific. The only reason I would pick that up was if uh, it got really good reviews and, you know, I just felt like supporting Sega at the time, because I'm crazy like that. And then uh, now that I think about it, I've missed out one other definite that I am going to be buying, and that's uh, House of the Dead uh, Overkill Extended Cut, which is going to be a PS3 remake of the 2009 House of the Dead Overkill game. It's going to have a shitload of extra content and that with uh, move support, new levels, and uh, it's, it looks really good, and I love that game to death, so I will definitely be picking that up. And as for Rise of Nightmares, well, I don't know. Why Sega? Why? Anyway. Right, that's that, guys. This has been a long as fuck video. I hope you've enjoyed it. But, uh, yeah. See you after anyway, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.